Hello, this is the Provoke Prawn, and if you've got yourself an MSI Z790 motherboard and are looking to update the BIOS, then stick with me because I'm going to show you two different ways to do it. And this is especially useful if you've got a Z790 motherboard like this Max Edge Wi-Fi, and you want to use a 14th gen CPU in it. So for example, a Core i9-14900K that you can see here. Now this motherboard in theory supports 12th, 13th and 14th gen CPUs, but you do need a BIOS update in order to do that. I'm gonna show you the easiest process for doing this. Now I'll go about building your PC so it's in a state where it will turn on, but you don't need to actually turn it on for this process. So make sure it's turned off and ready. Then separately, we need to download the BIOS update from MSI's website. So head over to the page for your motherboard and then click on the support section and go to drivers and downloads. In there, you should find the BIOS updates and you may well find a BIOS update which lists support for 14th gen CPUs in there. Obviously, you'll want to download the latest version and you'll see that there may well be other improvements like updates for overclocking rules and support for other things like APO being optimized as well. So it is worth doing these updates. It is important to note that you need to take care with BIOS updates because manufacturers will tell you not to do them unless it's essential. Obviously, we need to do this to run the 14th gen CPU on there. But generally speaking, it's worth bearing in mind that you can completely brick your motherboard if you're not careful during this process. So keep that in mind while doing this. Next thing we need is a USB thumb drive formatted to 32 fat. Make sure you've got a good size drive available, then format that and wipe it off completely. Then we head over to the download that we've downloaded, so the BIOS update, and extract the files in there so they're decompressed. Then we want to essentially move the BIOS file, which is this 120 file in this instant, over to the USB drive. You can copy and paste it, or you can go into the options and then send to the USB drive. Now, once it's over there, there's one more step here, which is creating a copy of it and then renaming it to msi.rom. I'll tell you why we're creating a copy in a second, but what we're going to do here is essentially create a file that the BIOS can read easily. Then take that USB stick and put it into the back of the motherboard. You're looking for the port that says flash BIOS on it. So this is a port specifically for this process. Again, the PC doesn't need to be turned on for this, but you need to put the drive that you've just put the BIOS into into this port here on the back of the motherboard. I haven't really mentioned it, but hopefully you've realized you need to download the BIOS update on a different PC or laptop before you can start this process in case you were wondering. With that drive inserted into the flash BIOS port, we then need to use the flash BIOS button on the back of the motherboard. Now again, you don't need to turn your PC on in order to do this, which is perfect because you obviously can't boot into Windows with a 14th gen CPU in there out of the box. So press that BIOS button and so you see a little red LED flashing from around that port. So you'll see this flash for quite some time. Now it's worth noting that it can take up to five minutes, maybe more for this to happen. You will want to keep an eye on this flashing light and also the system in general, because what you might find is your PC turns on and off by itself during the setup process. So it may well go through the process of powering up, powering down while it's doing the BIOS update. Don't let it power off by turning it off at the wall. Make sure that it goes through this process and be very patient with it. Eventually, you should find that it will then boot, hopefully into Windows if you've already got Windows installed. Now, there is another way to update your BIOS, and this basically applies if you're not using a 14th gen CPU or if you want to update in future. You'll notice if you go into your BIOS by pressing delete when you turn your PC on, you can see a BIOS build number and date up here in the top right hand corner. Now you can also access a tool called mFlash, which you can access by clicking on the bottom left menu down there, which will then reset the PC and take you into a USB flash mode, which allows you to then flash a BIOS from a USB stick in a different way. You can check your current build number and then select the BIOS version that you've downloaded to a USB stick manually from the list of files included on here. It will say whether you want to do it or not. You basically tell it yes, and then it will go through the BIOS update process. Obviously, this will only work if you can already boot your machine with that 14th gen CPU or with another CPU. But that's two different ways to update your BIOS. And hopefully this has been a helpful video. If you want to find out more related videos or see interesting things on the build that you're witnessing here, check out the links in the description. And if this has been useful to you in any way, please consider subscribing and dropping me a comment because it will really help others see this video. Thanks for watching. You've made it right to the end of the video, you brilliant legend you. If you've enjoyed it, click that subscribe button, give me a thumbs up, and drop me a comment down below if you've got any questions. 
If you really enjoyed it, consider joining the channel and see the benefits of doing so. Check out these other videos. You might well find them interesting or useful. And most importantly, have a great life.